Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after telling us the story of the boy and the king, he tells us about the end of the believers and that they're going to be in Jannah. And he says, kabir, That this is the greatest victory. Whenever we go through calamities, whenever we go through trials and tribulations, whenever we see what is happening to the believers all over the world, it is very important that we turn back to this verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where we are being told the greatest victory is not that you are going to become victorious in this dunya, that you are going to eventually overcome the disbelievers or that you are going to overcome the enemies that you have. But rather the great victory that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about, it is the moment that you are able to place your feet inside of Jannah, gardens in which rivers are flowing under them, gardens in which palaces have been prepared for you, a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in a hadith Qudsi about it, a place in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for the believers things the eyes have not seen, nor the ears have heard, nor has ever crossed the heart of a man. This is Jannah. This is the great victory that they are being given. And this is a reminder for the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also those that come after, for them to really understand that we are not chasing victory in this dunya. Victory in this dunya will never be forever. As we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gave the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam victory in the battle of Badr. But just a year later, they were defeated in the battle of Uhud. And this is how victories and happiness and success is looked at in this life. That eventually it has time and that time runs out. But the great victory, it is a victory that is going to be not for a day, not for two days, not for a year, but forever and ever and ever. Can you imagine being in a place after the struggles that you have went through, a place that you are given a palace that you could see the inside from the outside and you could see the outside from the inside, a place where the fruits that you are going to be eating from get sweeter the more that you eat it. Look at this dunya. Every single thing that you enjoy, eventually you get tired of. Imagine if you are told to eat your favorite fruit for an entire day. How many times are you able to eat it until that sweet fruit that you were in love with begins to actually taste sour. Your body begins to reject it. But this is not how a believer will be when he's given the greatest victory. What's going to actually happen to him is the more that he enjoys this victory, the better and better, the sweeter and sweeter that it will continue to get. This is what the believers are being told to always remember, that it is not victory that you are looking for in this dunya or success in this dunya, but true success, it is what you are going to be given on the day of judgment. Happiness that will never have sadness. How can you even be happy in this dunya when you know that eventually death is going to take you and it is going to end? What happiness is there when you know it is, there's an end to it? Now imagine the happiness that comes on the day of judgment, a happiness that will last forever and ever and ever. Not only does it last forever, but it continues to get better and better and better. So the companions are being reminded of this great victory, that even though the believers in the story of the ditch had to sacrifice their lives and they were killed and they were thrown into the fire, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for them, it is going to be gardens, they're going to be given Jannah. And it is because of this that this is the greatest victory. A place where you are never going to get tired. A place where things are never going to be the same. A place where all of the desires that you have ever had are going to come to you as you want it. And it will continue to get better and better and better. Wouldn't you rather want that victory over the victory of this life? And sometimes I know that we want to get the victory in this life. But we see from the lives of the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa and the Prophets that came before, every single one of them, even if they were given success in this life, they aspired for the success that was going to come in the hereafter. And so did the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa They were not satisfied with just being happy in this dunya. They wanted to eventually enter Jannah. And the day that they enter Jannah, every single thing that they went through in this life, they are going to forget it. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he tells us that on the day of judgment, two people are going to be brought. Two people. One of them, he suffered the most in this dunya. The other, he had the best life that a person could imagine. You and I in this life do not have the best, nor do we have the worst type of life. But this is the person that had the worst life and the one that had the best life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bring both of them in front of the people on the day of judgment. The one that had the most difficult life is going to be taken to Jannah for a single moment. And he comes out and he's asked, did you suffer before? Did you experience any heartaches? Did you experience any difficulty in your life? He would say, Wallahi, I never faced any difficulties. For a single moment in Jannah, while the other person that had the greatest of life in this dunya, he's going to be taken to the fire for a single moment and then taken out. And he'll be asked, did you ever feel comfort before? Did you ever find ease before? Do you remember the pleasure that you attained before? He says, Wallahi, I've never been in pleasure. That all he remembers is that moment that he was in the fire. This is the worst time in his entire life. And it sums up his entire life. Now imagine 
for those that are going to be in the fire forever and ever. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And then imagine those that are going to be in Jannah forever and ever and ever. May Allah make us from amongst them. You understand that whatever difficulties that a person goes through, the great victory will make him forget all of these things. How can you remember the struggles that you went through in life? When because of those struggles, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you shade under trees in which you're able to just reach your hand and fruits come to you. A place where the birds that you are seeking to eat, the meat that you are seeking to eat, it will fly right in front of you. You will begin to eat it. And then when you're full, it just flies away. A place where a person is, when they're sweat, it is going to smell like musk. A place where you're not eating because you're hungry but you're eating for the pure enjoyment that is found inside of it, where you are going to have rivers that are going to be flowing in front of your house and you can go and drink milk from them. You can go and drink honey from them. You can go and get water from them and so on. If this is all waiting and this is the great victory that has been promised, how much easier is it going to be for you to be able to bear what is happening to you in this dunya? And how long do you think you are going to suffer in this dunya for? If you really think about it, on the day of judgment when the people are asked, how long did you live? Like how long were you here? We are going to say, we were here maybe for a day or part of a day. Why? Because when you look at what is to come in forever and ever and ever, this dunya is going to mean, I was there for a few moments. I went and I spent half of a day there. I had my lunch and this day had ended. So we always have to remind ourselves that no matter the difficulties of this life, we are running after not victory in this life. But we are running after victory in the hereafter. And this is the greatest victory that a person could be given. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant it to every single one of us. جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته